Halo lur, selamat datang kembali dengan channel Rafiko. Admin doakan semoga semua selalu dalam keadaan sehat. Amin. Kali ini, kita akan menyaksikan reaksi dari enam reaktor saat memeriksa alip bata yaitu Ling Sir Wengi. Tanpa berlama-lama mari kita mulai lur. Let's jump straight into Ling Sir Wengi. what the tuning is on this and a little bit about what he's doing so let's grab my guitar Ling Sir Wend Wengi perhaps might be a way of pronouncing that uh, Alif Bata so sometimes it's spelt with an F and sometimes it's spelled with a P. I'm not sure why exactly. But, uh, okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this is a Indonesian traditional song. Let's see what Ali Bata is gonna do for us. Come on. Who the hell does that in a song? it a thousand times I'll say it a thousand more this guy is super super talented he's playing whilst tuning the notes up doing his usual harmonic brilliance <laughs> track of which strings are up and which strings are down and how does he keep track how does he keep track of oh. what is going on over here first of all let me just say i really like his style Okay, that's the D string. It's uh, it goes down to the B string. I mean, it goes down to the B note, and then he goes up to C. Okay, let's keep going. And obviously tapping his hands to play here as well as doing the picking. I mean, that's that's just class. Okay. I already see what this is going to be. He's changing the pitch of his strings mid-song. That is crazy. First of all, uh, your guitar has to be very good quality for you to be able to trust it that it's going to stay at the tone you tune it in at that moment. Also, you have to have a very good ear to uh, change the pitch of your guitar that quickly. Oh, 
I didn't tell you what the strings are. Okay. The strings are E, low E. That's a G note. Nice. This is very otherworldly. It definitely is a supernatural song, surely. It feels that way. It's almost like a sort of thing Paganini may have uh, come up with on the violin back in the day. Just well, he is performing, but he's not. You know, it's almost like he's like he's a no bullshit kind of guy. Just uh, this is not a pentatonic scale, so this is a uh, minor, and there was some harmonic minor there a second ago. Yeah. Some people do that mid-song, but I didn't know where he, he was going to use it in this. Man, this man should not be able to make this guitar to make these sounds. Literally tuning the guitar mid-song, make it make different sounds. slams down his uh, index finger on the fret there that's now that's a hammer-on technique if you've ever seen one first of all if you want to go that hard on the on the fret if you're not accurate with that it's not gonna sound good Man, that, that just shows you how much this man knows his instrument and everything to be able to sit there in mid song sit there and tune it and tune it back and not skip a beat at all we all know Leap is phenomenal. Interesting the way he was using the uh, the tuning um, knobs uh, in the way he was. Very interesting. Is this song sounds like it's a traditional song from somewhere? Is it a traditional Indonesian song? What does Linksir Wengi mean? Um, that's what somebody. I believe that's what somebody said in the comments. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But I, as far as I know, as far as I know. A lot of us guitar players are into this kind of I made a deal with the devil at the crossroads kind of vibe, the Faustian bargain. 
the mystique of it, the, the story of it. It's fascinating. I think a lot of us guitarists secretly wish we could <laughs> train our souls to have fame and fortune. Do you know what I mean? It's like a fantasy kind of thing. because I've been hearing him play the court guitar, that one that's like $35 or $50 or something like that. I'm curious to hear him also playing some other instruments. But uh, yeah, I really dig uh, Ali, but uh, I'm an Aliper. Difficult, man. Up here is a little easier to hit the harmonic. And then he turning. You can't. You don't supposed to turn those while you playing. You supposed to. You supposed to tune the guitar up and then you play it. Saat Alip Bata membawakan lagu Ling Sir Wengi. Dengan gitar akustiknya, enam reaktor yang hadir langsung terdiam. Terpesona oleh suasana mistis yang diciptakan oleh permainan gitarnya, mereka merasa seperti ditarik masuk ke dalam cerita yang kelam dan mendalam yang dihadirkan melalui setiap nada yang dimainkan. Kombinasi antara teknik fingerstyle yang halus dan melodi yang menghantui membuat para reaktor tenggelam dalam pengalaman mendengarkan yang tak terlupakan. Seorang reaktor wanita yang menghususkan diri dalam musik tradisional Jawa merasa sangat terkesan dengan interpretasi Alip Bata terhadap Ling Sir Wengi. Ia mencatat betapa Alip Bata mampu menangkap esensi mistis dari lagu ini. Meskipun dibawakan dengan gaya yang lebih modern, reaktor ini sangat menghargai bagaimana Alip Bata tetap setia pada akar budaya Jawa sambil memberikan sentuhan pribadi yang membuat lagu ini terasa segar dan relevan. Seorang reaktor pria yang berpengalaman dalam dunia musik instrumental mengagumi teknik fingerstyle Alip Bata. Ia terkesan dengan bagaimana Alip Bata mampu mengisi setiap ruang dengan melodi yang kaya tanpa perlu vokal atau instrumen tambahan. Menurutnya, Alip Bata berhasil membawa suasana seram dan misterius dari lagu Ling Sir Wengi hanya melalui permainan gitarnya, sebuah prestasi yang jarang terlihat dalam musik instrumental modern. Enam reaktor yang menyaksikan penampilan Alip Bata merasa bahwa lagu Ling Sir Wengi dalam versinya memiliki daya tarik tersendiri. Seorang reaktor yang ahli dalam komposisi musik mencatat bagaimana Alip Bata mampu menjaga ketegangan dalam lagu, menciptakan sebuah narasi musik yang bergerak antara keindahan dan kegelapan, ia menyatakan bahwa Alip Bata telah berhasil membawa sentuhan magis pada lagu ini, membuatnya lebih dari sekadar aransemen ulang tetapi sebuah karya seni baru yang penuh emosi. Seorang reaktor lain yang biasa mereaksi musik kontemporer merasa terpukau dengan bagaimana Alip Bata mampu menggabungkan elemen tradisional dan modern dalam satu penampilan. Ia mengapresiasi bagaimana Alip Bata menghormati tradisi sambil tetap menambahkan interpretasi pribadinya, menjadikan Ling Sir Wengi terdengar seperti kisah yang diceritakan ulang dengan perspektif baru bagi reaktor ini. 
Penampilan Alip Bata adalah contoh sempurna bagaimana musik dapat menjembatani budaya dan generasi. Kesan yang mendalam juga dirasakan oleh seorang reaktor yang berasal dari luar Indonesia dan baru pertama kali mendengar, Ling Sir Wengi. Ia merasa takjub dengan bagaimana Alip Bata mampu menghadirkan perasaan yang begitu mendalam dan menggugah meskipun ia tidak mengerti lirik aslinya, permainan gitar Alip Bata, menurut reaktor ini, mampu menembus batas bahasa dan budaya, menyampaikan pesan yang universal tentang rasa takut, misteri, dan keindahan. Keseluruhan penampilan Alip Bata membawakan Ling Sir Wengi, dianggap luar biasa oleh keenam reaktor yang hadir. Mereka sepakat bahwa Alip Bata tidak hanya menunjukkan keahlian teknis yang tinggi, tetapi juga kemampuan untuk menyampaikan cerita yang kuat dan emosional melalui musik. Penampilan ini menginspirasi para reaktor untuk menggali lebih dalam tentang musik tradisional Indonesia, dan mereka sangat menantikan karya-karya Alip Bata selanjutnya. Itulah lur untuk reaksi kali ini, sampai jumpa lagi di video-video selanjutnya bersama channel Rafiko. Terima kasih telah menonton.